now I will create another text field for SO created by. So I will put a cursor on the sub form. Insert standard text field. I will just drop at respective location. I will change that text to SO created by. SO created by. I just correct the spelling. Now I will bind the object property. So firstly, I will go to object, palettes, workspace, reset palette locations. I will go to the object. Now I will bind the value. Binding. I will go to my Adobe form and yes, name should be binded with P E R W. I will save up to this level. So our first sub form and second sub form is done. Now we will go for third sub form. So I will click on to the page. And now we will go for insertion of third sub form. I will increase the width. I will rename the third sub form. Suppose this is your item details because ultimately these are item details. Now we all know how we will go for these item details. We have a view here. We have a view. What is the name of the view? Data view. Data view. This is the internal table in which we have the item data. Item data. So I will simply drag and drop into this particular sub form. And you can see we are getting all the six columns. Sales document number. Item number. Material, material description, order quantity, SU. We are getting SU. Suppose if I will say, now people will say, we want UOM, but why, why SU is coming? We all know, yes, these labels are coming from data elements. If I will show you the data element, in the data element, we have SU, but we can change also. Suppose if I will go for that data element, we'll go for the structure itself, which we created, which we are using VRKME. If you see the data element, that's why we are able to see SU. We can change also if you want to change. I will go to layout. Suppose I want to change SU. So I will simply double click and suppose I will write UOM unit of measurement by default it is coming from data element and you can see your third sub form you can see we have third sub form firstly i will just suppose rename this sub form item details I will save.
you can see we have the third subform and in the third subform we have the internal table lt underscore output and we are displaying that data of six call. Now we will go for next part. This item details sub form. It is not positioned. It is floor. So firstly, we took the page as floor. In that page, this sub form is positioned. If you see this particular first sub form is positioned. Second sub form header details. It is also also positioned. Now, if I will come on to item details, this sub form is floored in nature because the data in this sub form will shift to the next page. So what I will do, I will simply, simply change the property of this particular sub form to floor. I will go to palettes, workspace, reset palette locations. Now, if I will go to this particular sub form, you can see the object property. Now, the third sub form needs to be floored. It should compulsory should be floored. Other sub forms are position. If you see this header details, position. This title is position. But this sub form compulsory, compulsory needs to be floored. So firstly, we took the page as floor. In that page, this particular sub form we took as floor. Now the next sub next thing, this internal table, whatever the internal table is inside this sub form, we will click on to this internal table. And you will you will select the checkbox allow page break within contents. I will reset the palette location. It is hand. So I will simply click on to internal table. This is fully explained in the Adobe form playlist. Also, what are the various steps you need to do? So for the internal table, I simply selected the checkbox, allow page break within content. So whenever you want your data to shift to next pages, always remember three things you need to do. Your data should, your page should be floored. First point. After that, whatever the sub form is there, it needs to be floored. Then whatever the internal table you are displaying, please select the checkbox for the same. Allow page break within the content. Now I'm saving this layout. So our layout is done. I will close the layout. And now I will activate the PDF form or Adobe form because we designed the layout. Yes. And we binded the various variables. Now we will simply call this Adobe form or PDF form inside the program. And we all know very, very well. Yes. We cannot call a Adobe form or Adobe form or PDF form directly into the program. Same thing we discussed for smart form also. We will call the smart, we will call the smart form. We will call the Adobe form by what? By the function module function module. Same thing is applicable here also. Every Adobe form or PDF form also also generates a function module. So we will call the Adobe form or PDF form also by the function module, by the function module of the PDF form or Adobe form. Now, whenever I will run this PDF form or Adobe form, you can see 
it generated this particular function module. In the next video, we will call this function module inside our program. So what is the summary of the video? In this video and last video, we created three subforms depends upon the requirement. In the first subform, we displayed the text. In the second subform, we created three text field because we need to display the label and the value. Label and the value. After that, in the third subform, we simply simply drag and drop the item data internal table from the data view. Data view word itself is saying which has the data, which has the data. So we simply drag and drop the internal table inside the third subform. Now the most important part we discussed, whenever you have item data and it is shifting to next page, first important point, take the page as flow. After that, whatever the subform in which you have dynamic data, take that subform as also flowed. And for the internal table, check the checkbox, allow page break within the content. Then we discussed, yes, every Adobe form also generates a function module. In the next video, we will call this function module inside our program or report. So that's it in this video. Thank you.